All right, what's up, guys? So this is the second straight uh, Real Paranormal Stories episode I am filming. Uh, so today's episode, I'm going to discuss uh, my friend uh, Jennifer. I was able to use her name. She said that any paranormal story that I tell that's hers, I can use her name. So that's great. So um, I think I'm just going to ask. When we all FaceTime, I'm just going to ask them all if I can just say their name and all that stuff. Um, but, uh, so, before we get that started, I want to get a little bit of some stuff. Um, so, everything, every Real Paranormal Stories episode, every Paranormal Adventures episode, most of the podcast episodes, are all going to go on Amazon Prime. I had no idea that Amazon Prime offered like a thing like YouTube where you can upload and all that stuff. Um, so this is really cool. This could give me some more monetization uh, type stuff, more monetary value type stuff. And if this actually goes through, um, I can put more budget into the series and also at the same time make an income. So, um, uh, so, uh, So, with that being said, uh, everything will obviously be on YouTube still, um, but uh, from now on everything will also be on Amazon Prime as well. And the episodes might go up a little bit earlier on Amazon Prime, um, because there you're guaranteed if you get this amount, if they buy it, you automatically get them on YouTube, but you're obviously not, so. Yeah, but, uh, so... Let's just get on to the story. So, Jennifer, she was about 14 at the time. She was in her room one night. And she's just sitting there. She's writing in her journal. And all of a sudden she hears this uh, bang. First, she doesn't think of it at all. You know, she has... She has a brother, she has, uh, you know, her parents are all home, and she hears it again. Once again, doesn't do anything. But then she hears it, uh, this time, three loud bangs. So instead of just one, it's, it's three loud bangs. So she gets up, she goes downstairs. Everybody's still asleep, which is also weird. So she goes downstairs, and basically, when you go down the stairs, as soon as you turn, you basically see the kitchen. So, she goes down the stairs, and she looks in the kitchen, and the cabinet to, kind of like where you put like your cans of soup and all that stuff, it's open. And so she shuts it, and that was the exact sound. So, she shuts it. She thinks that it's weird. At first she thought it was like a prank done by her brother, because that's what I would think. She goes up the stairs, um, but when she opens the door, he's asleep. So, uh, and her brother is a very hard sleeper, so when he snores, you, you know he's asleep, so... Um, so she kind of doesn't think about it. So she's about to go into her bedroom when she hears it again. This time she gets a little freaked out knowing that her brother's upstairs, her parents are upstairs because she also te checked the uh, parents room as well. So she goes downstairs and this time the cabinet is open this time a few of the things are out of the cabinet a few cans of like soup and stuff so she's freaked out she thinks that there's someone in there so she does a stupid thing that she obviously should not have done and that is she explores herself so she checks everywhere nothing she goes into the kitchen and as soon as she goes into the kitchen Something, something or someone s 
slams the thing. She sees the cabinet door slam by itself. She runs upstairs. So, she's scared out of her mind. She can't sleep at all that night. She hears a few more bangs throughout the night, but she doesn't check. As like I would. I wouldn't leave my room uh, if I heard that. So, next night, she sleeps mostly during the day. So, she, so she's unfortunately up most of the night. The next night, she hears a loud bang, but this time it's on the stairs. Because basically, you go from the kitchen, you go up the stairs, as soon as you turn, the first room that is close to the stairs is her room. So now, it's by the stairs. And once again, nobody can hear. She goes, she can't see anything. She's, she's just hearing these loud bangs on these stairs. So once again, it's very hard for her to sleep, but somehow, some way, she falls asleep. The next time, the next night, she hears these bangs on her door. And that is giving me chills. She quickly opens the door. She, she's just done with it. She quickly opens the door, nothing. Everybody comes out, so now they hear it. So when it comes to her door, she obviously hears it. Everybody hears it now. So they're all, they're all wondering what's going on. And then all of a sudden they hear the bangs in the cabinet. They all go downstairs and the cabinet slams shut with all of them there. They all get freaked out. They go upstairs and for a few more nights it happens off and on. And then just stops. And she doesn't know why it stopped. She doesn't know why it started in the first place. She doesn't know why it stopped. So that's basically it with her story. But it's creepy. It's very, very creepy that something just starts. It's banging on the cabinet. She sees the cabinet. And then her whole family sees the cabinet. And then it gets on the stairs. And it gets so obviously it was getting closer. And then once it, once everybody came out, it obviously got farther away. And then it proved itself that hey. I don't care if all you're here, I'm gonna do it anyway. So that's Jennifer's story. Really creepy. Uh, next time I'm probably going to talk about I don't know yet. I'm gonna be FaceTiming everybody probably in the next few days or so. So I'll try and get everybody's stories. Uh, I have probably I would say four four to six more stories for this season and then we'll go on to next season at the end of the season i'll probably tell another story of mine unless someone really wants to tell really wants me to tell their story or something like that so make sure to like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later